The chamfer feature works very similar to fillet feature. So the only difference is the surface that it generates instead of surface that is tangent to the neighboring surfaces, it generates kind of linear surface. Chamfer can be accessed from insert features and chamfer or from the command manager. You have to click on this little triangle and select chamfer under the fillet. There are different options you can choose from, but we'll just use the first one, angle distance. So you, the selection is very similar to fillet. So you can select an edge, and this edge will be replaced by this plane with an angle. So angle is controlled by here, 40, currently 45 degrees. So most of the times it's going to be 45 degrees. And uh, point two, that's the depth the distance from the edge to this line, not not the length of this yellow one, is the distance from the select edge to the boundary. Okay, so this is the depth. So that's the one other thing a lot of students are confusing, is the depth of it. It's not the length of the uh, surface. Okay, so if I do, it creates this planar surface. Uh, it creates a planar surface because this is a line, but if it were a cylinder, it'll generate a conical surface as it's shown in here. The function of the chamfer in this case is a very important one. Let's say this is a shaft and it should fit in a bearing or hole. Most of the mechanical components tolerance is like thousands of an inch. So the hole and shaft will be almost identical size. So without the chamfer, it's going to be extremely hard to insert this cylinder into the hole. So with the chamfer feature, both on the shaft and the hole, it'll be self-guided and inserted into the hole and make assembling much easier. Again, it's the same. You can also select face and all the edges belong to that face will be chamfered. And also you can add individual edges 